We'll say good morning. Today is Tuesday, is the 26th day of March, and we are deep, getting deeper into this very special week for Semana Santa for many of you folks, with uh, especially uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off from work for many folks, and almost everybody I think has Friday off. And unfortunately, that is the day when we're getting a norther in, um, but it look, it's looking right now Thursday, maybe more of the rain day, and Friday, maybe more of the wind day. So we're going to talk a lot about that. But first, let's take a look at our photo of the day. This is from Michelle Quid and over in Pristine Bay. And she had the great idea to put flora and the fauna and the sunset all together at the same time. And so we see our island hummingbird and the trees, Matawerki in the back and a beautiful sunset. So we thank you for all your photos. Don't forget to send them to bookmybio at gmail.com with the name of the photographer and the location where it was shot. If it has a flower in it, please tell me what kind of flower it is and we'll enter it into the contest. The five photos with the most likes compete on March 31st for $50 in Roatan Pets pet food. So we a big shout out to Mitch Cummins for helping us out there and uh, your dog will thank you or whatever dog you donate the food to. So let's move forward uh, with our discussion into our cold front that's on its way. So we're here at, uh, let's see, let's go back to 1030, which is right now. And see how our front looks. You can kind of see a low pressure system up here over um, Minnesota and you can see a cold front coming down through the southeast into the Gulf of Mexico. And if we look at the radar, we can see this uh, typical cold front setup. And we have the cold front coming through Toronto, down through western Pennsylvania, uh, into my old stopping grounds, Atlanta and Columbus, Georgia, my hometown. And then going out into the Gulf of Mexico, there's no, of course, radar in the Gulf of Mexico, so we don't know exactly what's going on out here, but it gets a little less as it goes further to the southwest this time of year. But we have a good chance of seeing a little bit more of a norther than we're used to seeing at the end of March. And we'll talk a little bit about more about that. But let's talk about the wind first. This morning, we have a situation where there is less wind to our west. So you guys in Utilla this morning, you're pretty calm. And towards West End, West Bay, you're calmer, and then you get more wind as you go east and towards Guanaja. But as we go through the day, we'll see uh, a northeasterly breeze into this evening. It's still stronger to the east, um, so a little bit more wave action on the east side of the island. And then as we go through the day into Wednesday morning, we'll see a little bit more of an e westerly breeze. Uh, about 10 to 15 miles an hour, especially for West End. So uh, Wednesday and Thursday for you guys in West Bay, where you're normally not getting a whole lot of wave action, you're going to see a little bit more on Wednesday morning and Thursday morning. Wednesday afternoon, we calm down quite a bit. And then as we get into Thursday, we can see some a, a, a pretty strong day of westerly winds. We're talking 20 to 25 over towards Utilla in the morning. And as we get into the midday portion, we're even seeing some fairly strong winds um, on Roatan. But then as we get into Thursday evening, we're starting to see the turn to the north. And then by Friday morning, you can almost see it just coming from the north. These wind fields breaking off from the major low pressure system, cold front, and coming down over us and giving us some fairly strong winds. Uh, wind speeds 21 miles an hour there. Let's look at the gust map here real quick. And gusts 27-ish. Let's see if that's the, the peak gust we can get down here. Mm. Yeah, 20, 20, upper 20s for our gusts. And then as we get into Friday afternoon, things calming a little into the evening. And then Saturday and Sunday not being too bad when it comes to winds and we start turning back to the east. And next week will be a, as we get into Monday, we'll see uh, quite a bit of easterly winds uh, that are pretty typical for this time of year. So let's go to the rainfall predictions. We'll start with the Euro. This is the least 
rain for us they're right around here we're talking half an inch is what they're predicting but a bullseye over Puerto Cortez Omoa area of seven inches um, and when we have these kind of predictions you know it's kind of a there's a chance that we could get more um, even than this GFS doesn't have quite as much over towards Puerto Cortez but gives us more of an inch and then the icon gives us around two inches with kind of a bullseye towards La Ceiba and Utila of two two and a half inches something like that so this is rain that we're looking for on Thursday and into Friday morning so if you're one of those people that have the day off on Friday you want to go to the beach as far as the rain goes it should be ending mid-morning Friday but the wind will be what you have to worry about and especially on the north side we're looking at six perhaps seven foot waves um, even inside the reef uh, that could cause some waviness as you get to the beach but the positive of all this a we're going to get some rain which unfortunately for some people it's on their day off but very fortunately for us it's going to cool us down uh, you know and I don't have to tell you that we've been very hot if you look at uh, the temperature anomaly this is how much warmer or colder it is than average this is a little bit over our heads it moderates a little bit as you get down towards the surface level but uh, you can see you know a good seven eight degrees above normal so yesterday at the airport it was 88 degrees uh, Fahrenheit I'm not going to be able to do the Celsius on the fly somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 degrees Celsius uh, which is very hot especially when you factor in the fact that we've had dew points around 80 so that gives us a, um, a heat index around 107 and that in Celsius is somewhere like 41 42 so it's been pretty hot and we're going to have that today and tomorrow but as you see we get into Thursday we're going to have more cloud cover that's going to cool us down for Thursday but then as we get into Friday look at the cooler air and this will also be somewhat drier air invading Honduras and we will be very grateful for that so Friday and Saturday cooler temperatures um, mid to maybe low 70s for lows when we've been only down to about 80 for lows recently and then 82 83 ish for highs even when we get the sun out and we've been obviously around 90 for high so that will feel quite a bit cooler for uh, Friday and Saturday but notice even as we get into Sunday and Monday we get a little bit warmer air um, but it's really more average for this time of year so average for this time of year is about 85 for a high and maybe 78 for a low so that will feel a lot better than 90 let me tell you and then not until we get into early April will we really get the very much warmer temperatures but even after that there is a little moderation in store for us uh, let's take a look at the model for what's to come and we can see as we move forward in time into Thursday we can see this cold front very well defined through western Cuba and as it comes into our area of the Caribbean it picks up on this moisture and especially as it hits the mountains of northern Honduras it rises and that creates uh, condensation and rain for us uh, pretty much over late in the day on Friday and then we can see a little bit of return of moisture as we get into Sunday coming here that's very light and so it's not a whole lot of rain probably only a 30 percent chance but Sunday morning the Pasqua for many folks um, that is going to have about a 30 percent chance of a morning shower and then we dry out then another cold front tries to come along the 5th 6th of April uh, but the GFS is starting to kind of give up on it getting all the way down here but I do notice that there's quite a bit of moisture here in the southern Caribbean if this were August this could be a tropical storm <laughs> but it's not so it won't be but it will be some moisture to our south we'll see if we can get this moisture to come a little further north and we give us a chance of rain towards the 8th or 9th of April but we'll see uh, we would love to have some rain in April which is our driest month of the year okay that's uh, what we have to say about the norther uh, keep sending those photos to me and let me know what you observe at your in your neck of the woods you guys have a great Tuesday